How are you metal detectorists out there? It's Alan here. Today we're on our way to a beach in Scarborough called Scarborough Beach and I'm leaving Yanship in about five seconds. Now if you want to know where Yanship is go onto Google Earth and type in Yanship and that is spelled Y-A-N-C-H-E-P and that is W-A and the postcode is 6035 and you can see where Yanship is and that is a beach coastal town where they do cray fishing. Now I'm on my way now and we'll see you when we get there and I'll show you what I find. So let's go. Bye. Well, I'm at Scarborough Beach now. I'll just show you what the beach looks like from where, where I'm sitting in the car right now. That's part of the beach land, sand dunes area. And over that way, as you can see, there's a little park over there. I'm going to go metal detect that first. It'll take five or ten minutes to do that. Sometimes there's money in there and sometimes there's not. We'll soon find out when I get over there and do it. Then I'm going to head down the beach. So we'll be down there in a minute or two. Well, I found my first coin. It was 20 cents. And it was down in there and it was at least eight inches deep down under the ground. Or more. Well, I found my first dollar coin. Now let's hope I can find a few more of them ones, and two dollar ones. Wish us luck. Here we go. See you on the next one. Well, okay, I've been down there on Scarborough Beach. Didn't find very much at all. I found a dollar coin, a 20 cent piece, a 10 cent piece, and a 5 cent piece, and a handful of rubbish. Uh, it was two weeks ago that I last did it, and there was someone else here that day that was doing it as well. So obviously it's been cleaned right out and plus there's a machine that goes down there and um, gives the beach a clean. Now I've just arrived at Floriot Beach and I'm going to go and have a look down there and see what I can find and we'll check it out. Now I'll show you the bits that I found on the beach already at Scarborough today. Well there's my bits of rubbish and my money's in my pouch. And there's the money I found, the dollar coin and the 20 cent piece and the 10 cent piece and the 5 cent piece. Now I'm going to have a drink and then I'm going to go down the beach and see what's down here at Florian. We'll catch you later when I find my first find and show you. Well I just went and had a look at Florian Beach. There's no one down there. I had a bit of a swing around for about an hour. Nothing seemed to happen, didn't find a cent, didn't even find a bit of rubbish. And all the people that are here, they're up the top here near the shop with their kids in the playground. And there's too many kids around and too many people around to metal detect the playground. I'll have to come here one day when there's no one here and metal detect the playground. So now what I'm going to do, on my way home, is look for some parks that I've got no one at playing. And I'm going to go and metal detect them and see what we find. So let's go and see some parks. See you later. Let's find these parks. Well, I found another park, and I have done this one before, a very long time ago, of another metal detector I've got called a Gold Snoop Pro. It does seem to find coins. Now we're going to go over there and we're going to do it with the Ace 250 and the 6.9 head. And when I was at the beach, I had the 12 by 9 elliptical head on for the beach. And I also have got a 4.5 Super Sniper head as well, or search call as you Well okay, I've just spent 10 to 15 minutes looking at that little park over there. And all I found was a ring pull off a drink can, and a scrap piece of aluminium, and nothing else. Well the last time I did it I must have cleaned everything out of it, and these days children must be looking after their money better than what we would have done as kids. But although I'm going to go see if I can find another park and see what's there, and if I can't find something there, I'm going to go home and wait until the heat comes in for a weekend, then do Scarborough Beach again, and I should have a lot more success because there'll be a lot of people down there on that beach because that's a very popular beach, Scarborough. Well, okay, we found another park now. 
I've done this one before, but we'll have another look. This was a while ago since I've done it though. And over here as well, as you can see, we have the beach. And after I finish in this park, we'll go and putter around down here for about an hour. Then I'm going to go home and have some late lunch and a nice cold drink. Then I'm going to rest for the rest of the day and put this video on YouTube. And I'll tell you, she's getting pretty warm now. I think it's 32 degrees or over today. Well, okay, I just looked at that park and all I found was a metal button covered in cloth. And down the beach I found nothing because there's not many people there. And I'm going home now, unless I see something on the way that I can look at. And I'm pretty, getting pretty well hot now and sweaty. I need to get home and have a nice icy cold drink. Maybe a beer. A nice cold world. Because you have a choice. See you later. Hope you enjoyed Brand my video. HP, if I see any more things that I can metal detect, I'm sure I'll do it. If I can't, find anything. Brand new, Never mind, maybe the next video Refills, we'll find some other things. Okay everybody, now I'm on my way home. I'm giving up for the rest of the day. We're going along Marmion and Avenue. New part of Marmion Avenue. As you can see there's the bush over there and development over there. Here comes one of our buses that takes us downtown to go shopping. Well, I used to, now I've got a body. We're still on Marmion Avenue. Look at all the development that's happening down here. And they've only started this a month and a half ago, and they're going to build houses there. Look, it's even all the way over there, too. Now, I don't like this sort of thing, because it takes our lovely bushland away that I like. And there's a water truck over there doing some, getting some water out of the ground, or doing something, whatever it is. Well, metal detecting with Alan is back home now, and there's the rubbish I found. And you know what we can do with that, don't you? There you go. There's the rubbish bin. Put it straight in there. Well, I found 20 cents, a dollar coin, 5 cents, a 10 cent piece. And this is some of the things that I found on previous trips. There's a sterling silver ring, and a tiny little sterling silver dog, a sterling silver heart. There it is. A little sterling silver cross pendant. Another little tiny toe ring. And this little tiny thing, which I don't know what it is, because it's got a clip fastener in it. And that's sterling silver too. And this is all the money I've found since I've had my Ace 250 buried in parks and beaches and schools. And I've only had the Ace 250 for about two months. And I seem to have done pretty well. There's lots of two dollar coins in there, lots of dollar coins, five cent pieces, lots of them ones. Ten cent pieces, fifties and twenties. So I have seemed to have done pretty well, haven't I, with the Ace 250. And there's at least over a hundred dollars worth of coins there. I hope you enjoyed my video.